This is Miro, my robo vacuum cleaner, and in this video series, I'm exploring how Miro is able to move around my apartment without bumping into any walls or furniture. In my previous video, we built an AI that's able to find a path to a goal located anywhere within my apartment, and we did that using this application that I built. In fact, the AI was so impressive that it was able to find its way through pretty much any maze that I could throw at it without knowing anything about the maze beforehand. But there was still a massive issue with it, which is that that the path it produced looked something like this, making the robot move like this. And this is not really how robots like Miro move around the real world because it's extremely impractical. So make sure you stick around because by the end of this video, you'll be a master of taking paths that look like this and making them look smooth like this. So let's start off by taking a closer look to this path generated by our AI. We'll take the first point in our path and draw a straight line to the last point like like so. Since this line collides with an obstacle, we'll discard it. We'll then keep moving through the points backwards until one of the lines can successfully be drawn without any collisions. Once this happens, we can discard all the points between the first point and the point we just connected to with the line. What we just did represents a single iteration of our algorithm. And if we repeat this process with all the remaining points in our path, then the end result should be a much shorter path to the goal, with a lot less waste moves. Now although this path is much shorter, there's a sharp turn over here which is pretty inefficient for robots to maneuver because they would need to slow down at the turn, rotate and then continue along the path. A much better solution would be to have our robot curve around this corner so that our robot can continue moving without coming to a complete stop. Now there are many ways of achieving this but I'm gonna use a quadratic Bezier curve. So let's start off by choosing two points where our curve should start and end. We'll then define a variable t that can have a value between 0 and 1 but for the time being we'll set it to 0. We'll then add two more dots over here and here. Now as t changes from 0 to 1 we'll have these dots move along these segments of our path. We'll also connect these dots by a straight line and add another dot that moves along this line segment based on the same t value. Now interestingly this dot that we just added traces out a curve called the quadratic Bezier curve which we can use used to replace that sharp turn in our path. And if we repeat this process for every turn in our path, then we should have a much smoother path to the goal. Okay, so now let's run our entire path finding AI and see how it's able to generate a smooth path to the goal. Now with that, you've become an expert on path shortening and path smoothing algorithms, so congratulations! 